What's up, Trey? Nothing much. Just getting ready to get these units out. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing? Packing it out. In what? Pink polystatic bag. Why? Everybody's using pink poly. No, man. That's not protecting your component at all. It's only providing low charging capabilities. You need this SCS metalized shielding bag. Well, what's the difference? Come on, I'll show you. With a low charging pink poly bag, we can easily demonstrate by using this shaker. So we have a insulator and metal object that's gonna simulate a discharge. I also have the ESD or the EMI from SCS, which will pick up any charge that penetrates through the bag. So let's put the EMI in the bag. If we close the bag and simulate the charge, you can see we're getting 152 volts, five events. More aggressive, 732 volts with 64 events, just that fast. So let's try the same thing with a metalized shielding bag. The difference is this bag has a buried metal layer that protects the ESD event. So you'll be able to see the screen same fold, same application, shake, zero. 100% shielding. Try it again, nothing. Zero voltage is penetrating through that bag to the EMI sensor. Therefore, we just proved that metalized static shielding bags are the way to go because low charging pink poly has no protection at all. Another example we can show to show the difference between SCS metalized shielding bags and a standard low charging uh, pink poly bag is by using the 718 static sensor. Uh, this instrument will pick up any static field charge and give you a voltage. So in this case, we have a uh, standard low charging pink poly bag. These, uh, when they manufacture these, they use a uh, impregnated uh, process that puts the anastat in the film and it blooms over time, uh, eventually this bag will uh, expire. So when, when the blooming process expires, it pretty much turns into a standard poly bag. So today we're getting two to five volts, uh, no problem with a low charge anesthetic bag. On the metalized bag, we use an ad coat. It's a lot more permanent on the inner and outer layer and again, very low charging, two or three volts on a standard poly bag with no uh, you know, protection additive at all. You can see we can quickly get 300 volts and I can certainly get uh, a lot more than that, but it'll get 300 volts almost immediately, um, which will you know, certainly damage your component. So at the end of the day, uh, static shielding is always the best. Number one, it provides shielding values and it has a more permanent low charging uh, attribute uh, in comparison to a standard pink poly bag. Alright, thanks Kev. I really learned a lot. Guess I can throw away these pink polys.